Jason. This is the best house we ever made. You said you wanted to show me something like a surprise in it? Let me see. What you do? What you do? What you do? Jason! Why'd you fill the house with lava? I was gonna give this ring to you, but now not anymore. Oh, I threw my- No, I threw my ring into the lo- What? 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 Hey guys, the Emerald Miner here, and today I'm doing a review and installation on the Lord of the Rings mod for Minecraft 1.6.4. Now, this mod is huge, so I've taken the video, whoa, in a bunch of different takes. So yeah, first I'm going to show you all of the mobs in this mod. Okay, so we are here to look at the um, new mobs in the Lord of the Rings mod. So... First, we're just going to be looking at the non-hostile or good side of the mod, of the mobs. So, first we have the horse, and it is pretty much a regular Minecraft horse. Not sure why they put it in there. It does have a new spawn egg and everything. And I'm guessing that maybe, like, this horse is added in before 1.6, like, before they added in, um, real horses. And it has 25 health, which I think is actually more than most horses. And let's see if we can, like, get a saddle and tame it the same way we usually would. Whoops, I threw my saddle. So, let's see, I can get on it. And it looks, yeah, it looks like we're, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, I believe, as um, before. I, I mean, as now. And moving on, now we have the Shire Pony. Let's change the time to zero. And I think this is just kind of like a pony that doesn't grow, and it's cool, and you can ride it, I right, guess. And that was a weird noise. <laughs> so that's the pony. And now we're looking at the hobbits. We have the um, burlap brook house, the hobbit. Okay, and he looks like the one who's in a little bunny or something. There he is. Yeah, he looks kind of like Frodo a little bit. Hmm. And then next we have Wiseman, Fairer Brain, the hobbit bartender. So in the... Um, in the bar, or the the wiry, the weary pony, or I'll show you a little bit. Um, he is the bartender. So yeah, and then we have the Hobbit drunkard. So he's hanging around the bars, and he looks like he has this purple stuff, and he's holding a um, can, or not a can, a mug of some red winey stuff. And then next we have the um, Mur Murimas. Brustle Griddle, the Hobbit Sheriff. Sorry if I'm messing up the names, but I'm not super fluent on Lord of the Rings. And then we also have him, a different one, Marge Gold Puddlefoot, the Hobbit Sheriff. Um, the Hobbit Sheriff Chief, and he is on a horse. So, yeah, that, those are the Hobbits. And now we have a Gorian the Elf, because we're moving on to Elves. Look at their ears, they look pretty awesome. And then we also have, um... El Egalmoth, the Elven Trader, and with these traders, um, if you at, if you get some coins, uh, coins. Whoops, I want more than that. If you get some coins, and the coins are crafted like this with silver nuggets, which you can craft nine of by getting a silver ingot, and you can make a silver ingot by silver nuggets, and I'm Enough pretty nuggets. sure. There is silver ore that you can find, so yes. And um, so that is, so the trader, if we have our silver coins and right click on him, we can buy stuff. So look, this is 27 coins, and if we take it, it'll go away from down here. And I'll, I'm going to show you more on these items um, before, and also if you want to sell items, these are the items he has to sell, he wants, he wants to buy from us. So if we see on here, let's see if we, he. who is that guy talking? So string, we'll put it in here, and we can get two string. We can get 128 coins for 64 string. So I'll click on that, and I got all my stuff, and now I can buy a bunch of free stuff now. And yeah, I'm gonna tell you a little more about the the traders later on. So stay tuned for that. And then next we have um, 
Ragnod Elgnado, the elf warrior. So, some cool elven name, and he's a warrior. And then we also have the elven, the elf lord. And then now moving on to Gondor soldiers, Gondor stuff. So this is the Gondor, Gondor soldier, the blacksmith of Gondor, and also, um, if you got yourself some gold coins, you can buy some cool Gondor stuff from him and sell some other interesting stuff. And I'm not sure, does this stuff change? I don't think so. And then here's the Gondor captain. And let me show you something really cool about the captain. So if we grab ourselves the Gondor Gondor captain, take him over here. So if you run up to a Gondor captain, if you have your coins, you can right click on him. And what you can do is you can hire a soldier or an archer or a cavalry person or an archer cavalry person and and you can pay gold, you can pay money to hire them which is really cool. So let's say I think I want to hire a cavalry person for 25 coins or 200 is this either or? So let's see if we want him uh we need we need um both. I think we need we need the golden ring. So if we get a ring, which I'll show you a little more on in a little bit. We can now buy him, I believe. We should be able to buy him. Let's see. Oh. oh. Okay. So, oh, I forgot about this part. So, guys, um, there's going to be a little more on this in a second because we have not, For let me say for now, we have not reached the level to get a cavalry person. So, let's go back down and we'll grab ourselves an archer. You click on this sword and suddenly we have a hired, we have a hired archer. So if we get some orcs, which I'm going to show you more on later, I keep saying that, he will attack the orcs. And let's hope he wins. As you see, he's not the... And also, these guys over here are trying to kill the orc, too. And he died and dropped some pretty cool stuff. So, yeah, that is the guy. And he will... And you can't kill him. And he will keep fighting for you until he dies. So, no, 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 please, please, please don't. Please, I protect him. I vouch for him. I vouch for him. Ha! Sorry, I thought that he was just attacking my other guy. Okay, go away. So moving on. So that was the no. How? How? Okay, we need to give him some guys to play with. This is your punishment. This is your punishment. Die! 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 Oh, not the rain. Not the rain. So, yeah. As you can see, all these good guys... Um, Sorry about this rain, guys. But all the good guys uh, do kill the orcs. What is that sound? I'm turning my sound down. Anyway, so moving on from the captain, we have the archer, which is just, you know, a guy who runs around and kills people. No! How? Oh, I thought he got in. Okay. So, uh, uh, hold on. so, moving on, we have the Gondor Ruins Wraith, which, and he is a bad guy. What is up with my sound? He's a bad guy, as you can see, and he does burn in the daylight, which is why I put the thing over him. And he's just a monster that spawns in the Gondor places and kills you. Let's let him suffer. Anyway, moving on to the dwarfs. Here we have just a dwarf right there. And then there are different textures for most of these. Like, they don't always all look the same. So, it is, it is really cool. And then here's a dwarf warrior, and he runs around and kills people. A dwarf miner, and he's, you know, he has his pickaxe and his coin, and looks pretty awesome. And then the dwarf commander, which you can um, get, you can buy, uh, rent, or, you know, hire a dwarf warrior to help fight for you. And then here's the dwarf axe thrower. As you can see, he's throwing these cool axes that do stay in the ground and look really awesome. And he's not... Let him... We should let him free. Be free. Go kill him. Kill him. Kill him. So the dwarf axe guy is pretty awesome with his strength. So let's just let him wander off for a prize. For... Thank you. Here, coins. Coins. Take the coins. Oh. Oh, yeah. He's walking away. I am important to you. Take your coins. 
Oh, and take a orc spawn egg, just in case you ever have any friends who want an orc spawn. Okay. I'll just get rid of this stuff. So, those are the dwarfs, and then there also is now onto the Rohans. There is a Rohan borrow wraith who does, who's just like the other wraith, runs around, dies, and all that cool stuff. And, yeah, if we do let this guy loose, he will come kill him. Or he should. Yeah, they're fighting each other now. Because this is a bad guy. And here comes the, uh, here out comes our axe boss guy. And then here is another knight of Rohan on a horse, and he looks pretty awesome. All these Rohan guys are pretty much on horses. And then here is an archer on a horse of Rohan, and then a marshal of Rohan on a horse. And then there's the blacksmith, and as always, you can get your gold, your coins, and buy, ooh, you can buy saddle from him. That's a good deal. And you can buy your super cool stuff from him. And yeah, that is pretty much all that the um, good mobs have to offer. Okay, so I am here in the dark of the night to try to show you guys the evil and bad, not the creepers, the evil and bad um, mobs of this mod. So, let's go to our new tab, you know, and go, We ha they are, there are spawners for all the mobs in here, which is really cool. So let's start grabbing them. So we have the orc. And the warg, I think. And I'll show you him in a second. And let's see. The orc bombardier. The orc trader. The orc archer. And the, let's see. Um, the marsh wraith. The orc bombardier. The orc mercenary captain. And then the gone gore. Oh, that's a good guy. Uh, then the Urukai. So let's see. So first up, we have the orc. You know, pretty simple. He makes crazy noises. And yeah, he's just pretty crazy. And then we have the warg, which is kind of like a big bear kind of thing. Punch him. You know, he's not happy about it, you know. And the Orc Bombardier. And I think... And watch this. I believe this might will work. Let's see. Um, If we get... Where's a good guy? Elven Warrior. So if we get an Elven Warrior, he's going to drop down some bombs and blow everyone up. That's what he does. He has one bomb and then he hits people with his stick. So now we have the Orc Trader. Which you can trade with, you know, and get orky stuff if you have the silver coins. More on that in a, in a little bit. The orc archer, right? Like though, like so. The marsh wraith, which is really cool. He's like this, and then he disappears. I'm not sure if this maybe is not the right biome he can, he or she can be in, but yeah. Moving on, the warg bomba bombardier or whatever. And if he is attacked, he blows up, and oh, it's a really big explosion as well. And then the orc mercenary captain, and he blow up. Um, does he blow up? I guess not. I guess not. Never mind. Oh, but he, you can hire some orc guys from him. More on that in a little bit, as I keep saying. Then the orcai, orcai. I think they're just kind of like a stronger version of the orcs. Makes the same sound. Let's see who wins. Whoops, I made two. Anyway, moving on. Let's see what what was we did the Urukai. So there's Urukai crossbower, Urukai burst skier, Urukai trader, Urukai mercenary captain, a troll. Those are super awesome. The Ooglai high, the oh the spiders. I just want to tell you that the spiders are super awesome. Like. They just look so amazing. You gotta see them. And I will show you them to you in a second. Um, and then there's two left after this. So we have the Urukai crossbower. And the Urukai that drops the bomb and kills everyone except himself. And then the trader. You can trade with him and get Urukai. Urukai stuff, more on the traders and stuff. The Urukai mercenary captain, where you can trade, where you can hire Urukai to fight for you, more on that. The troll. Okay. Look at the troll. Awesome. Awesome. And if we do change the time today, I think they do turn into, um, 
I think they're going to turn into stone if they if they stay out in the sun too long. They can go under trees, and they are really fast. Don't Please don't find the place. Please don't find the place. Just, he, let's see, where'd he go? And there he is. We have ourselves a stone troll. This is, that's really cool. I like when they run around all tilting from side to side. Anyway, then the Oogla, Oog, Ogla High, and he looks like a kind of cool dwarf. Look at his hammer. Wow, sheesh. He has 60 health, so that's pretty big. Whoa. The Mer- Oh, and they all just turn into stone. And then the Merkwood Spider. Okay, look at his legs. Okay, they're fighting, but this spider's gonna totally lose. Let's see how- If you have a ton of spiders, all big- There's so many sizes, and they all- Okay, all fight in this one Oog- 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 high or whatever it is. Let's see how much the Oog- high is dead. What if we gave them some more friends to play with? I think the Oog- high are gonna win. The trolls aren't doing much. And then that was the Mirkwood Spider, the Ranger of the North. I'm not sure if he's I don't think he's a bad guy. But um he but he just didn't make it into the part. And he's kind of transparently invisible a little bit. And he's getting pounded on by the Uglahai. So let's give him some friends to help with the battle. There we go. That seems more fair, I think. But they don't seem to be taken oh yeah, they're dying, they're dying. And now the Ranger of Ithlian. Kind of same thing, kind of same thing, I believe. Oh, wait, is this the same thing? Ranger of the North and the Ranger of Ithlian. They seem like they're the same thing, except they have different capes. So, uh, I'm not sure. And then the um, the Dundalian Warrior and the Dundalian Archer, or whatever. Okay, evil. They're mad. So... There's some other bad guys, or these guys are good guys, and they're just having a big time, good time fighting around, killing each other. You know how it is when friends get together. Yeah, like, you know, the fight. And, yeah, this these are all the hostile slash bad slash mobs I didn't get to put into the good ones. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so now we're going to be looking at some of the new structures. There are a ton of new structures. And I'm so glad because they put in, it's really cool, they put in um, spawn new structures so we can just generate them. So we don't have to go all over the new biomes, all over the new dimensions and stuff looking for them. So let me show them to you now. So here is the Hobbit Hole, obviously where Frodo lives. It has an nice little dun 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 of a hammer. And then it comes in. So let's go inside. It has a nice little front yard. Look, it's like a little hit hole in it. It's like a hill with a hole in it. Exactly. I mean, there are some hobbits in here. Um, Frodo, I believe that's Frodo, and this is that's the boy, and that's that's and so that's Frodo, and this is um, Alan Dina Brooke, some new lady, and yeah, they have a nice little house with some cool stuff in it, and yeah, they have nice chandeliers, and that's pretty much in the dining room. Don't forget the dining room and the kitchen. And more chests. And I just heard them eating. What are you doing? Are you munching down on the food? You're not even in the dining room. Anyway, moving on. We have the Hobbit Tavern, which is where um, the drunkard and the the Hobbit drunkard and the Hobbit bartender dwell. So here we go. Pretty quickly. Dun, dun, dun. And the Grumbling Hobbit. So these these do have different names. I'll show you in a second. This one's called the Grumbling Hobbit. And here's the Frodo, I believe, or no, Ponto, Ponto Gamby. And there's just some hobbits, you know, around. There's no drunkards in this one, but we do have our bartender right here. And we do, and look, we have our, um, our, uh, drinks, which I'll show you in a little bit with our plates and food, and everything's pretty cool. Now let me show you, these do have different names, I got one, because the, the original one in the film was called The Dancing Pony, I got one one time called, yeah, oh no, th this is the Merry Troll, you know, not, not much different, I got one one time called The Weary Pony, and he's probably weary because he was dancing too much, let's see if we can get that one, The the Homely Hobbit, The Homely Hobbit, come on, come on, we, we don't want, we don't want to go through a million of these, The Boated, The Bloated Troll, and this one is Birchwood, so... They do switch around the blocks a little bit, so it's not always the same, and they overlapped. 
The Grumbly and Wonder. Okay, so you can find the Weary Pony, because, you know, and the Hobbits, you know, they come out, they're smoking their pipes. I'll show you more than they look, they're smoking, and they do the rings and stuff. So they come out, hang around the town, everything's cool. Now, there's a Hobbit picnic bench. You know, just a nice little bench with some food and some kids, you know, different kinds, and they can come play together and eat their food, and everything's great. And then the ruined Dulian or whatever that is, tower. So here it is. Pretty cool. Pretty tall. Chest on the top. Iron stuff. Pretty cool. Nothing else in here. You know, you could find one of these, fix it up, call the building team, and you could have a whole new house. And then that was the ruined tower. And then I did do... Oh, yeah. And then the wood elf lookout platform. So here's just a nice little lookout platform. You could... Find, like, it's probably going to be up higher, you know, you know, like that. And then here's the Wood Elf house. Ooh, nice. I like it. Here's some of the new blocks, new torches. Nice little house with your average Wood Elf in it. Let's see. And here's some cool stuff. And stairs down to a basement that doesn't exist because we are in a super flat. So here, let's try to generate this up a little higher because I want to see. I'm kind of curious to see what is in this basement. So let's put it up on top of this thing. And it will destroy stuff to get it out of the way. And look, it just went down. Okay, so if we come in here, we have a different elf. And if we come down here, here's our basement without a bed, new bed. And nothing else is down here, really. It just... Huh? Oh, this is the other tower. Okay, let's get get out of here. And that was the wood elf house. And then the dwarven mine entrance also needs to be up higher. And some of them do take a little bit, but, you know. So, you find this. You can come in here, go down this, and there is a big, huge thing. And it looks like it, this is not even high enough to finish it. So, let's make it up a little bit higher I, ooh, nice bow. Because I really want to show you guys, this is a full review, and I want to show you guys every little thing. So, let's do it again. And, that wasn't any higher, was it? Oh. Let's just do it. We can just keep building on top of each other. And it does say you have to wait before spawning another structure. Okay, so this one should work. So, you come in here. Yes. And, there we are. And we're down here, and there's, um, you know, entrances off. There isn't really anything, but you, but there are, like, entrances like this, and you could dig out and do some pretty cool stuff. So, let's fly back up here. And let's see if there's a picture on the side. No, that was unique, I guess. So now we have the dwarf tower. Let's put this on top of the hobbit hole. Okay, so it does take a little bit to um, build. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, there we go. So, it does look pretty cool. Let's go inside. Hey, all you dwarfs, I hear you drinking. I hear you drinking. Here's some little clovers. That, oh, that, those are on the Hobbit Hill. And it got destroyed. And we do have our um, strong barrel of ale. I'll show you this later on in the review. And you can go up, find the chests, steal their stuff. And just kind of keep going up and up with more, you know, dwarfy stuff. More dwarfy stuff. Keep going, keep it coming, keep it coming. Until you get to the top. And then it's a pretty cool, nice top with this guy on the top. Let's see if we can push him off. You don't deserve to be up here. It's not my fault if you fall off. No! He died. That was not my fault. That was not my fault. I'm sorry. And now we have the dwarf house. And this is, you know, kind of like this. And you can go in here. And here it is. It's in. And let's build it up high so we can see the base land. Let's build it on top of these because it's looking pretty weird over here. But this will just make it look a little weirder. Did I do it? Sometimes you're not sure because it takes a little bit. And here we go. So you can find this weird lighter block and break that. And two things break. And here we are. You stand on your table. Get off your table. Don't you know it's rude to stand on your table? I'm just going to break your chandelier for that. And so you can go downstairs with their nice little basements. And there's stuff in their chests. I want to see the stuff in the chests. Oh, what was that? A 
plate. Awesome. More on that later. I am just focusing on this part now. I don't want to get distracted, so I'm just doing this part. And his chest seems to have broke, or his stuff is all over the bed. And there are some dwarf beds. So now we did all those, so we need to move on to the next structures. So grab these. No. These, 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 this, 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 and that. Okay, so next is the Elven Tree House, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, and guys, all these um, all these structures are um, generated around the world, which I will be showing you later, as I always will be showing you later. You have to wait. Why is this working? Come on, Elven Tree House. Oh, whoa. Okay, there we go. So here's the elven tree house up in a tree, as you would think a tree house would be. And has nice beds, has nice stuff, and even has a nice little elf. So next we have the grand elven tree house, because that's not grand. I mean, really. Can't, like, this is amazing, right? This is amazing, right? And now they have a grand elven tree house? I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay, so. It will take a bit to load because this is a pretty big structure. We're having a little village over here, you know. Oh, lag, 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 lag. This looks pretty interesting. Come on, we want our treehouse. Can we turn our render distance down just so we don't get as much lag? That might be worth And, and, okay. I take my words back. They can get a lot grander than that rinky dinkle thing back there. Uh, let's see if we can turn our render distance back up now that normal. Okay, so we do have some nice stairs going up to the top, and we are lagging a bit. See if we can manage with it. So stairs going up, and in here, come on, come on. In here, we do have our nice beds and our elf lord, because so he lives in the grand one. And it has a huge tree thing on top. I mean, magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Great. Great. So then we have the Rohan Mead Hall. Because the, the Rohans that want to go to a tavern, they want to go to Rohan Mead Hall. Nice. Classy. Classy. Okay, let's go inside. Why are we lagging? And there's a bunch of food on the plates. On the plates. And pictures on the wall, but there's no Rohans in the meat tavern. I guess they all did go to the, like, you know, the Hoppy, Hoppy and Pony and the Lonely stuff. Lonely Hobbit. Then the Rohan Watchtower. Pretty cool. The guys fell out. You know, has some nice stuff. Chests. Well, he's zapped back up there. Oh, and it has this awesome, so that's not the awesome sword. That's not the awesome sword. And, yeah. Here we go. And, Yeah. So that is the watchtower. More on what that just said right there in a little bit. And this is the Rohan Burrow. 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 Of course. It's a burrow. And it's door. Or it doesn't have a door. It's right next to the... um. Aha! So we just kind of have a little thing with nothing in it, really. You know. It's just a little burrow with a chest, actually. And so <gasps> oh, my goodness. That freaking me out. So this chest is a trap. And if you open it, it will spawn that wraith that you just saw. Which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. And he has left. He's like, I don't want to fight you right now. I'm out of here. Now we have the Rohan Fortress. Which is really awesome. I love the Rohan Fortress. So if you're looking for a free fortress, just spawn it in. Don't feel like building the castle. Just do this instead. Here we are with the fortress and a bunch of, you know, horses and blacksmiths and anvils and warriors and chests and little huts and walls and a bunch of everything that's in here. Ooh, beds. And now the Urk, Urk, Urk tent. Nice little tent. You can just spawn a bunch and it won't lag up your game too much because they're teeny little structures. You can have a little camp of Urks, Urks, Urks. Why is it an Urk? Is that a? I don't know. And then the ruined Rohan watchtower because it's like they always go ruin them. So, as, you, like, um, let's go back to that other watchtower so we can compare. Oh, here. So, some Urks came down, burned it down, it went out charcoal -y, and it looks like this now. Before. After. Now we have the Beacon Tower. Pretty cool, you know, nice little tower with your weird, um, block. 
No! Whoops, I accidentally spawned another one. I was trying to right-click on the block. Whoops. Okay. So that were those structures ending with the beacon tower. And then the Gondor Fortress and all this other stuff. So we're almost finished with these, it seems. The Gondor Fortress. Bam. Boom. Okay. I'm liking the Gondor Fortress. But that's not all that meets the eye. It stretches out all awesome out back. So I think I like the Gondors a little more than the Rohans. And we have some nice stuff in the chest. Some, some soldiers. Chests. More chests up here. Up here, then you can go out across the wall. Actually, you should have gone out across the wall on this third level, third level, I believe. And you could go across here, you know, with all your guys. Fight for the Rohans. Do nothing with that block, so we'll destroy it and jump off and kill yourself. Ooh, there's a ladder. And then we have the Gondor Smithy. So you can go in and talk to the blacksmith. Punch him a little bit. And then he won't serve you. I shan't be forgiving. I shan't be forgiving anything for you. I shall. Oh, forging. <laughs> I shan't be forgiving anything for all. Anyway, the ruined Beacon Tower, because it's not like Beacon Towers last. I mean, really. The Mordor Tower. Okay, let's see the Mordor Tower. Okay. Okay, nice! Well, this reminds me of. <gasps> this is a tower! And then there's a big eyeball right here, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Oh, isn't this the tower like Gandalf died or something? So you can come in here, fight around with the orcs, climb up the stairs, climb up the stairs. Or you can just blast your way through the roof if you're an awesome wizard like I am. And then you can get over here and see the cool torches and then jump off to your death. And then an orc tent. So nice little tents. Tents all around. Tents all around. Tents for everyone. Tents for any occasion. Let's turn that rain off if we can find the button. So yeah, these are all the structures this mod has to offer. Structures, sorry. Okay, now let me show you all the armor in this mod. First, I want you to look at my head. I am wearing some super cool armor, and this is a winged Gordian helmet, and I'm going to save that to show you for last. So, yeah, this is a full review, so I'm going to be showing you everything and how to craft everything. So first, look at all this. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 new armor sets. So yeah, first off, we have the bronze helmet, the bronze armor. And you craft that. You know, most of these, you, you know, you just craft them regular. And bronze ingot is, you know, crafted by putting copper ingot and tanging ingot together. And you just get the ing those ingots by um, mining them. And then, no, next we have the orc helmet, which is crafted with orc steel ingots, which is crafted by mining the orc steel ore, I believe. Wait, no. Yeah, the orc steel. Actually, no, you have to find an, or, the block of orc steel to get, to get these ingots so you can make their armor. And now we have the Gondor, got Gondorian, um, I guess, uh, armor. And that is just crafted with iron. What? Did they did they take out the other iron? Like, is there iron armor still? How do you craft this stuff? No. Uh-huh. Well, there's two for... That's going to be confusing, huh? So, you craft this the same way you would regular iron armor. So, I don't know how... Um, which one you craft, you put iron in there. Anyway, we have Mithril... The armor, and that's crafted with the mithril ingot, which is, um, I believe, crafted by finding the mithril ore. And now we have the elven helmet, which is crafted with iron as well. I'm not sure what's wrong with this, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, but it's all like iron. Get out of here. Get out of there. So that was this one, I believe. Yes. And now we have the Warg Fur Helmet, which is crafted with Warg Fur, which is dropped, I believe, by the Warg when you kill him. Next, we have the Dwarven Helmet, which is crafted with Dwarven Steel Ingots, which, um, do you have to, yeah, you have to, um, find their blocks in their structures and destroy them as well. Next, we have the Galvorn Helmet, which is crafted with Galvorn Ingots, which, come on. Ah, you have to find it in structures. Can't you... Aren't there any ores? And then the Urk 
helmet, which is crafted with herb steel ingots, which is crafted by putting iron and coal together. Thank you. And now we have the wood elven hood, which is crafted just with leather. What? Why leather? Now they're taking other recipes. So now we have the warhork thing, which is crafted with, this is raw hyric. Which is crafted with three iron ingots, two leather, and three leather and five iron ingots, four iron ingots, three leather, and um, two leather and two two leather and two um, iron. Next, we have the ranger's hood or the ranger armor, which is crafted with um, leather, which I don't get. But next is the dun leading helmet and does not have a crafty, crafting recipe. Um, I guess you just have to find that. And yeah, and then all this is in the um, Middle Earth combat section right here. And yeah, all this um, the what the helmet I am wearing does not have a does not have a full set to go with it, but it looks pretty sweet. Look at it, it's awesome. And let's see you craft that. And you get a Gordian helmet, put two feathers on the sides. And you craft a Gordian helmet with iron. So I'm not sure if you're able to get this. I want to test this out. If you get iron and a crafting table, which one will you get? Will you get the the traditional ones? Or, I mean, you know. So we just get tradition. So you can't craft. You can't craft this other this these iron armors and stuff. That's disappointing. I hope the mod maker fixes that because there are some really cool armors here. So let's just go on survival. Check out a few of them. Check out a few of the strengths they have. Here we go. So let's grab bronze and put it on ourselves. So bronze, nah, it's it's good. It's not super amazing, but it's good as you can see from the armor thing. So now we have orc helmet or the orc stuff. You know, not super good. We got an achievement inspection, and then we have. I'll uh, start skipping over in a second. Gordian, I guess. Let's see, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. And, oh, I can't get rid of this stuff. So let's try out the rag warg fur stuff. It's probably going to be really bad. Yep. As I suspected. Really bad. And you get an achievement every time you put this stuff on. I'm going to show you the achievements in a second. So, yes, pretty much the armor. You can fool around with the rest of them yourself. Hold on, let me show you guys the achievements. They added in, I believe, a ton of achievements. Let's see, can't you zoom out on this? I guess not. They added in tons of achievements. I mean, ah, oh, look. Um, I don't. Are they, they should be in here, right? Cause I get like an achievement every time I do something in this mod. Diamonds. What? Aha. No. 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 Huh. It doesn't look like the achievements are in here. That's strange. But I do get a lot of achievements all the time in this mod. But. Yeah, so these are all the armors. Okay, so guys, now I just want to kind of show you a little bit of the miscellaneous items in here. I'm just going to kind of quickly go over this inventory thing. So here are the Middle Earth blocks. All the blocks that are in the Middle Earth dimension, which I will be showing you later. So here they are. Ooh, this looks ooh, this looks cool. I just want to see this. Whoa. Uh, I don't... Oh, I'm pressing R instead of E. Okay, I'm liking this block already. Think about a floor with this block. Is this glow? I believe it is glowing. I can't type right now. No. Yes. Yes! You have glowable blocks that isn't glowstone or torches. It's fantastic. And look, it looks like it has like a little orm. Like, uh, in the, like, you know, right here. It looks kind of cool. So yeah, this is kind of all the blocks. You know, some new gates and stuff. Now, the Middle Earth decorations, the Beacon of Gondor. Oh, this is, you know, you could light it on fire. Let's see if you can light it on fire. Uh, we need some flint and steel. Remember the Beacon Tower? Oh, whoops. So, the beacons are lit. We got an achievement. And let's, is it gonna, yes! The beacons are lit, so we can light beacons and on our beacon towers and everything's gonna be awesome. So, yeah, we just have a bunch of decorations. We have our chandeliers. 
and our new saplings. Oh, I want to show you the Hobbit oven and the um, the Hobbit oven. Let me show you the Hobbit oven. So let's say you're just standing around and you have like 64 raw, raw pork chops, some raw beef, some raw chicken. Whoops, some raw chicken. But you only have and you but and you want to cook it all. And, but you only have, you know, like, I don't know how much coal, but, and you, and you know that six, set 18 coal is not enough to cook all this stuff at once, right? So, your troubles are over. With the new Hobbit oven, you can cook it all at once and not use as much coal. So, you put in what you want to be cooked, Let's, you know, spread it out a bit. And the chicken can just go in there, because we only want to cook half our chicken, no. No, I can't split this. Okay, well, we'll put it all in. And then you can put your coal in here, and it will start to smelt all these things, all these things at once. When taking up one coal, it'll start to smelt all of them. It does look like it's taking a little bit slower. That's because it is smelting everything. With one piece of coal, I can smelt, like, nine items. Well, I could already, but now I can smelt, like, nine times however many items you can for, as you can see. So we'll check on this a little bit later. So that is the oven. Then this is the Morgul crafting table. And I I want to tell you I'll t show you about what that means in um in a in a little bit. And then here's some chandeliers. I want to check out these chandeliers. Let's get some mortar blocks. Start building some ceilings. There we go. It's another light source. I believe it should be a light source, right? 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 Wouldn't it make sense if this is a light source? Let's check. Light source. I want this to be a light source. Let's build up black around this. Well, if it, even if it isn't, it is a light source. I'm not gonna be able to tell. Yes, it is a light source. Yes. Yay! More light sources in Minecraft. So now, so there's a bunch of different kinds of chandeliers and everything. Elven crafting table. You know, and I'll show you about that later. And then you have some new ladders, some steel bars, and the dwarven crafting table, the dwarven forge, and the orc, cra orc crafting table, and some more crafting tables, and some cool beds, the troll statues, the tavern doors, tavern door, dwarven doors, and the armor stand. So, also, if you have your dwarven forge, you can do that same smelting kind of thing, except with ores. So, if you have a bunch of ores, you can start smelting them all with the Dwarven Forge. So, the Elven Crafting Table, weird. Look at that. I want to see the Dwarf Door. Whoa. <gasps> no! Okay. I am super excited now. You can make yourself awesome secret entrances. Oh. Now you can just be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And no one will know it's there. Or no. Okay, that's cool. I give a big thumbs up to the Dwarven Door, and I hope you will too, because... The Dwarven Door deserves a big thumbs up. Let's see if we can, like... Whoa. This is weird. You could build whole, 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 um, walls out of this stuff. Hold on. I'm getting really, you know, <laughs> I'm getting, uh, really excited about this now. Oh. So now you can be like, I can open mountains. And open the mountains. That everyone can go in. You can close the mountains behind you. And they won't know how they got in. That's awesome. How do you craft this? And there's the crafty recipe stone. Oh, and there's the crafty for the... And I guess the crafting tables. Oh, here's the dwarven forge. So it is kind of just those blocks I sh that you need to find in structures. And now, let's go on. So the food. The food. So, um... Here's the barrel. We find these in taverns, and here we can um, get our buckets of stuff, I guess, and start filling up our drinks. So, I'm not really that sure how to do this, but I know you can get some stuff and be awesome and powerful. So, there are a bunch of different, um, you know, foods and stuff you can drink. There's a pot, cherry pie, just like a cake, and you can eat it and eat it so you can't eat anymore. And there are plates, which is really cool. I want to chest, yeah, the plates, If you, and you can get your food 
stick the apples on the plates. Can you eat them? Like in survival? If you're hungry. Let me run around a little bit. If I get hurt a little bit. Can you get killed by this fire? You can't. Now that is interesting. Here's... Okay, this is cooking super... It's literally used like two coal. Oh. Let me get on hard. So the food will diminish faster. Oh, and you can... I guess you can put these down. Place them. Pick them up. Drink them. And then you are strong. And you get a regular mug back. Come on, why aren't I getting hungry? I feel like I was slow. Let's see if I can destroy this stuff. Whoa. I can't destroy stuff? What's going on? Am I... What game mode am I on? Am I on survival? Yes, I am not on survival. Well, anyway, I'll test this out in a second. I'll probably look at that later. And then here's some Middle Earth materials. Uh, yes, and a bunch of ores and stuff like that. I really want to show you guys these. The pipes. Well, first, we'll skip that. Here's, there's some new pressure plates, some buttons, pressure plates, and some small pouches. These pouches act like backpacks, you know, kind of in the backpack mod. Um, you can have different size of pouches to put your stuff in. And also, the pipes are super awesome. And let me show you all of these. Um, so, you have your pipe. And let's go on survival so we can try to diminish some hunger while we're doing our pipes. So, hold down right click. I guess you have to be in creative. Or hold down right click. And keep holding it down and it will blow out a little um, different colored smoke. And all of them pretty much different colors except the this one. It's a magic pipe and it blows out the boat. So you and your friends... One of you can start blowing your circles, and the other can try to blow the boat through the circle. Go, go, go. Make it. And you kind of need two people because there's too much of a delay in between. And yes, yeah, so those are the pipes. And oh, if I think you got, I guess you need this pipe weed if you're in your survival mode. You can run around and smoke your pipes. And diminish your pipe weed, and your pipe will have durability going down on it. Huh. Oh, that was the. Yes! Wait. Yes, yes. Oh, it disappeared. Did you see that? It disappeared just as I went through. Hold on, let me check on my furnace a little bit. I'm trying just to run so I can diminish my hunger. Can I, can't I? can you diminish hunger or something? There was a mod, like a cake mod, that added in diminishing hunger. And now it's just kind of cooking these stuff. So we'll spread it out to help it along a little bit. And so those are the pipes and the pipe weed. So you do need... Ooh, let's see how to craft the pipe weed. You grab your pipe weed leaf and start smelting it. And you find the pipe weed leaf somewhere. Okay, we're hungry now. So, can we eat off the plates? I can eat off the plates. I'm happy now. So, if you want to have banquets, you can prepare a big feast and people can eat off the plates. So, now, going on, we have all the mobs I showed you. The structures, the silver coins, and we have the hobbit room. Which doesn't do much right now. I'm not sure. I don't think it does. And, sorry, you can't craft it either. And then there's some ancient stuffs. Mystery web. Can you put this down? Well, I can throw it. Oh, so with this mystery web, you can throw it. And you might get something good. Or you might get a little spider. And you craft the mystery web. You can't. You must find the mystery web. You can actually get some pretty cool stuff. But you do sometimes get spiders. So that's not good. Listen to their wait. Yuck! Listen to their legs. Like this doesn't sound good. So that's the miscellaneous stuff. There are some tools. There are some cool tools that I'm not going to go over. But you know, you craft them um, like you you know you usually would. And the sticks don't matter. That's just you know one of the options. And everything is awesome. So the Middle Earth combat has some pretty cool swords. And it has these or these are the orc bombs that those orc guys use, you know, mithril sword. Ooh. You can craft yourselves a bunch of cool poison daggers. Let's poison the spiders. Oh, are you hoit? Are you hoit? Are you hoit? Are you hurt? Are you hurt? 
Are you all poisoned now? So, yeah, a lot of these do do a lot better damage than, um, in, than regular. See, look, this is plus 5, this is plus 8. I believe that's the best you can get. And then they do have some more bows that are really awesome. Let's see. And they, I feel like they shoot more accurately. Like, you don't need to point up so much more. And then the earth. Oh, the crossbows. Crossbows. Crafted like you just saw. And it's pretty cool. You know, like that. And it has nice sound effects. Let's see if we can shoot the skeleton. Yes. No, I'm missing. Yes. Die. No, how how is it to kill skeleton? I'm not hitting it every time, which is a big problem. How much health does it have? Check. Damage indicators. Three health. He died. And yeah, it's a crossbow and it has all this armor, some nice hammers, and some stuff. Ooh, the sling. You can get your sling. A pebble and just and it does not do a lot of health at all. Let's see, it does half. It, it's just like punching, except you can do it more rapidly, and you can keep them away from you. Throw the pebbles. You know, not super good. The pebbles are crafted with just with some gravel, and you get four pebbles. And the slingshot is crafted like so. So yeah, I think I'm gonna finally go on now to the um, what's it called? to the Middle Earth biome, and I can finally explain the thing I've been saying I'm going to explain for such a long time. So here we go. I just want to say that that is a lot of lines of code. Okay, so now we're going to be getting on to Middle Earth. So if you want to go to Middle Earth, you want to make sure that you have a bucket, and you want to make sure that you have a golden ring. And the golden ring is crafted just by gold nuggets, which we all know how to craft, and if you don't, just one ingot in a crafting table. So, what you're going to want to do, is you want going to want to break a block, break a block, let's break all this stuff, just to make it fancy, and put down your lava. And then, like you saw in the intro to the video, you need to accidentally, on purpose, throw the ring into the lava, big explosion, and this will pop out. It's the only circle in Minecraft. Look at Look, how hard do you think they worked on to get this circle into Minecraft? And so what you want to do if you're in survival, you know, you're going to need to, like, build up until you're standing into it and your screen will start to go red. And you will start to get nausea. No, you actually won't. But, and then suddenly, it'll download the terrain. New sound effects I am hearing? Yes, I am. And then, when it's finished downloading, of course... Which shouldn't take a super long time. Don't know why it's taking so long right now. Why are you taking so long? They should have a more... They should play a cartoon right here. Like, while you're downloading the terrain. Except then they need to have a downloading cartoon screen. And then they'd have to play another cartoon. And they'd go over and over and over again. And it probably wouldn't be worth your time anymore. Come on, why is it taking so long? Doesn't seem right. Hello? Terrain. Terrain. And here we are. So, it says press L to view Middle Earth achievements. We're pressing L. And hold on, let, let's just let it load. And if you saw the other part of the episode, I guess that is why the, the Middle Earth achievements are not in the regular achievements place. You have to press L to view them. So, here we are in Middle Earth. Hold on, let's let it generate a little bit. We don't want it lagging. Just hold that, let press escape, because we all know that it loads better when you're like this. Okay, so we want to press L. And here we are. We are in Middle Earth, and I've taken that achievement. Adventure Reach. Okay, so, um, if you've seen the whole parts of the episode. Ooh, I can't, can I get a cape? Ooh, I can get a cape. I want to get a cape. I want to get a cape. Please don't. No, don't turn me. What cape should I get? Shire contest contest cape. I think I'll take that one. So, I didn't get it. What? What? Give me the cape. So that's cape. Oh. Okay. Um, here, anyway. Um, 
achievements. Okay, so as you see on the top, this is a thing that I have not been explaining the whole episode. So, um, when you go to Middle Earth, you get to decide, you, if you want to rule as good or evil. And if you want to, so there are two, you know, I, through the whole thing, I, and like when I was explaining the mobs, I was saying there are good mobs and there are bad mobs. So, you need to choose what side you're going to be on. You need to choose yourself. You, If you want to rule Middle Earth, you got to choose whose side you're going to be on. You know, and don't just choose that good side just because they're good, you know. And so, you, if you, if you want to be bad, you what you want to do is you want to kill all of the, um, all of the elves and all the dwarves and all the mobs that I showed you in the good mobs. And if you want to be good, you want to kill the bad guys. Because what happens is, let me show you. I'm going to grab myself an elf. Here's an elf. Then I'm going to grab myself a super OP sword. Like this. Plus 8 attack damage. So, we're going to spawn in this elf. And notice, when I kill him, it says, the ring, it says minus 1 elf. So that means, as you see on the top, as you probably didn't see, but that ring does go down. So now I'm on the evil side. Or actually, it went up. See, um, if I find a commander, because the commanders, you get more in trouble. Commander, um, dwarf commander. I, I, I did kill this guy in the beginning of the episode. Like, you get minus five. Here, look. Kill him. And I got minus five. So, I am turning into a bad guy. As you can probably see. And he's not taking much damage from this. So, now I am pretty bad. So, it says up there, minus eleven. So now, if since I am minus eleven, um, if I grab an orc, let's grab an orc trader. And can we grab some coins? I want to show you this. So if I am on survival, this orc. Oh, that's a dwarf. Oh, this orc trader won't kill me because I am on his team and I can actually trade with him. And, but he still says I can't trade with him because I need to be further down the path. This guy should be attacking me. I'm not on your side. No. Don't kill me. Don't kill. It's not fair. It's not fair. You're stronger than I died. Come on. Seriously. Now where am I? Ah. Uh, let's go back in the crew. Hey. Hey. So now you see this, um, this ranger is attacking me because he knows that I am against him. He knows that I am... One, he knows that, oh, whoops, I already was in, oh, that made sense. Anyway, so that guy was attacking me because he knew that I had killed his side, so he was killing me. So, um, also there is a cheat. If you just want to quickly get some alignment done, because as you saw um, with these coins, this guy over here, the traitor, where's the traitor, where's the traitor? <gasps> did he kill the traitor? You did not kill my traitor. He killed my trader. Um, so if we grab our orc trader, as you saw before, when we tried to trade him, trade with him, we right click him. He says, "You want to trade? Come back. We can follow down the path of darkness, scum." So apparently, minus eleven is not for for down the path bad enough. So we can do this command alignment. It's not how you spell it, is it? I cannot spell. Hold on, just a second. Okay, so sorry about that. I just couldn't figure out how to spell alignment. So you write in alignment, A-L-I-G-N-M-E-N-T. Alignment, add, or set, you, know, you type in alignment, set, and then you do, I'll do negative 100. So now I'm a real bad guy. So this, um, he killed again, again. He killed my traitor. How, can, how come I can't trade my orcs in peace? Let's also grab him. So now, if I have him, he will trade with me because I am evil enough for him. And I can trade with him as well. So, yeah. So by killing, um, by killing, um, um, orcs and stuff, I can go up. And by killing elves, I can go down. Or you can just do this. Alignment set. Let's do 100. Or you could do, like, align. And then I, now I'm an elf. Friend. And now all the elves like me. And if I try to trade with them, your blood smells like fish. Let's see what else. 
Okay, let's go. So now they are against me. So this is a really cool way to work with this mod and um, to play with this mod. So you get to decide if you want to be good or evil. And, you know, you can use the, like, the crafting tables of the elves only if you're good. Only if you're good. Yeah. And, yeah. So, um, I want to showcase now a little more of Middle Earth. So, we press F3. You see, right now, I am in Imlian Mully. So, never heard of it. Never, ever heard of it. So, that is a new biome. And now, it looks like we're in Gondor. So, you will be seeing that the Gondor guys are spawning around. And there's horses. And it looks pretty cool. Pretty cool, nice grass. And you see some new ores and stuff. A lot of Gondor guys all over the place. And this is where the Gondor castles and stuff will be um, spawning or generating around. And along with most of these Gondor guys. So there are, you know, some other biomes. There's the Shire where, like, the taverns and the hobbits spawn. And there's um, the Misty Mountains, which is actually a Misty Mountain. Ooh, this is a nice tree. This is cool. Oh, now I'm in Dunland. Oh, so this is Dunland, and I guess these were the Dun guys that are going to be spawning up there, you see. And so, yeah, there's the Shire, the Misty Mountains, and then there's Mordor, which is pretty black and bleak, and big mountains with black stuff all over it. And, yeah. Oh, also, I wanted to show you this. If you are in a pickle, a pickle, let me find what uh, uh, I should have prepared. If you are in a pickle, you can grab your, um your horn out and this is the horn of command and hold down oh whoa so you can summon some units if you have your army and you can also and then and every time you blow that your units will be summoned so this is another one and you know this kinda do different things where you can tell your units, your army, to go forward, to halt, and to do anything that you want them to. Because, after all, this mod is all about you. Do you want to rule Middle Earth? I hope you do, because I don't know why you'd be watching this if you didn't. But, yeah, so, that is pretty much it, actually, guys. That This is a huge mod, I know, and I don't, I don't know if I even covered all of it. I tried to do my best. And, but, um, but it is so big, but there is one thing I can think of right now that I did not cover, and actually two things that I did not cover that I wanted to save for last, what do I do now, what has happened, sorry, it's lagging a bit, okay, so, if you go into this, Middle Earth Magic, why is it not letting me click on stuff, why is it not letting me click on stuff? What's going on? What's going on? Can I click? Okay, hold on just a second. Sorry about that, guys. It looks like Minecraft just froze on me, but we are back. And, yeah, the two things I wanted to show you. Three things I want to show you. If you go in here, you can get the Staff of Gandalf. The White Edition. Which, there is never really another edition. So, what you want to be doing, hold down, right click, and then, did you see that? And it shoots out blue balls and kills people. Blue balls of fire kill. And it also has that, you know, cool fiery thing. You know, it's cool. Not the most effective weapon. Just has seven attack damage. So you can do some pretty decent stuff. It's just like a diamond sword. And then it is not craftable. Also, another thing I wanted to show you. Saruman. The big bad guy. Make him... He's a boss. Pretty cool. So, let's slay him. So, he is regenerating health as we speak. I am hitting him with this plus 8 sword. So, I get, I'm doing like around 4 hearts to him every time. And he does have 200 health. And he, it, I guess he's not completely done because it says Sauron unfinished. But, if we kill him, you will notice that now I have plus 100 for killing Sa Sauron, Solomon, 
Sauron, and we get the Mace of Sauron. Why is it Sauron? Sauron? I don't know. But this, hold down right click. And he, they're mad at me, but I can't kill them with this. What's wrong with you guys? But if it is nighttime, and there are monsters, if you hold down right click, you see this thing? Watch the chicken. The chicken is no more. Come on. We're all monsters when you need it. So let me spawn in a bunch of zombies. And so if you're for, you know, getting attacked by a big wave of zombies like this, don't know what to do. Go kill Saruman, grab your mace of Saruman, and it does them all five damage each. And they're six damage that time. And they are going to die. I mean, how much health do zombies really have anyway? And they're killing them by the dozen. And you can just, you know, stand up on a tower, have them all gr gather around you, and then you can grab all your XP. And you can be king of the world, good or evil. You decide. Why can't I kill these guys, though? Okay, they're mad at me, aren't they? So, um, but before we leave, I want to show you, um, because I noticed on a lot of other guys, I want to show you, I want to try to show you fighting Sauron, but me on survival. I'm going to grab myself some diamond armor, just because. And one of the big reasons I'm doing this, I watched another guy's actual review on this mod, and he said that he didn't want to go on survival and kill Saruman because he would most likely die. But I want to defy all reason, go on survival, and let Saruman have it. So let's quickly switch to game mode zero. Hope these guys aren't going to be kill Oh, these guys are not going to be killing me, are they? Yep. So it looks like we're going to have to fly away because I don't want these done dudes um, messing up my private attacks with Sauron. I mean, can't you get a life, people? See, once I get out of the done land, who would name a land done land? Okay, we'll fight in Gondor because these Gondor guys love us. They'll help us. They'll help us because we are, like, totally on their side. So here is Sauron. So we just want to kind of run. So, oh, I feel bad for him. So let's use his own mace on him. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, so, so um, looks like since I have my diamond armor, he's not killing me as easily as he would. But he is doing a lot of damage to all these other guys. Does this better? These are both the same. So I can hit him with his own staff. Take that! No, I killed myself and the other guys. Kill him. Let's see, can we kill Sal- Oh! You're not allowed to do that! Uh-oh, so this is not turning out good. Let's kill a cow. Ooh, ooh, what's this? I want to pick it up. I want it, I want it. Let's eat this. Kill Sauron! No. Can we kill him? Don't kill those guys. Kill this guy. No! He's doing it! Oh, no. Here we go out, go out, and we died. So... Sauron is a pretty big battle to fight. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much all the mod has to offer. But the video is not over because I'm going to show you now how to install this mod. It's super easy, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's install this mod. First thing you want to do is make sure you have another mod installed, just in case this mod isn't going to work with them because then you'll crash and you won't be happy and I'll get a lot of comments saying, hey, my Minecraft crashed. What do I do? So make sure that is not the problem. Also, I am doing this review, this installation on a Mac, but I will be explaining it for a PC. So don't leave, please, if it if, just because you're on a PC, because it will work for um, both. It will work the same exact way. I see to tell you how to get places. So first thing you want to do is go to the first link in the description. It'll take you to the MinecraftForge.net, or you can just go to MinecraftForge.net and press Files, and it'll take you here. You want to get the latest, which is for 1.6.4, but this um, installation will work for any version of Minecraft. So you want to download the installer, because the installer is awesome. Then it will take you to an AdFly page, where you will have to wait 10 seconds without seeing an ad. So I don't know why that's here, but it's always. And then you want to click there to continue. It'll take you to the real AdFly page. We have to wait 5 seconds while you're staring at ads that you should never, ever click on. Then skip ad. 
and it'll download Minecraft Forge. So, on Mac or Windows, or, you know, PC or whatever you have, you want to navigate to your downloads, which you should know where they are. And it should show up in just a second. It looks like it's down there, some weird reason. So, we need to, so you can arrange it by date added. And for some reason, my downloads kind of messed up. So, you will get a Minecraft Forge installer, 1.6.4, whatever version you have, and a bunch of weird numbers. You just want to double click on that and open it. And then a new kind of thing will come up. And you want to install client to make sure the path is right. This is the path for Mac. Not sure about, oh, cancel. Not sure about path for PC, but it should be right. It'll put it in there automatically. So just press OK. Then it will download stuff and everything will be good. Then you can press OK. Now you can launch Minecraft. Like so. And what this Forge installer does is it makes you a new profile. We want to play with this. Uh, it makes you a new profile called Forge. And then you can play on that profile. And this will have Minecraft Forge installed. If you can still play on your old profile without Forge installed, which is a really cool feature. So you can play with Forge, with the mods you have installed on Forge, or without mods at all. So it'll launch it up, and we have not installed the mod yet. We've just installed Forge, so that's okay. It says three mods loaded. You know, it'll be all here, and yeah, so now let's install the mod. So, first I'll tell you how to get to your Minecraft folder on a Mac. You want to click Go, Hold down the Alter Option key and click Library, Application Support, uh, see a Minecraft, and here we are. On a PC on Windows 7, you want to press the Start button, and do in your in your search, you want to type in percent app data percent. Press Enter to take the roaming folder. You should see your .dot Minecraft folder. Why am I pointing at the screen? Never mind. You can't see me. And on Windows 8, just do a system search for dot .minecraft. I'm not sure, I think that's the only way to get there now. I'm not sure how. Just search system search dot .minecraft, and you should find it. So once you're in your Minecraft or dot .minecraft folder, um, when you install Forge, it should have created a new folder called Mods. But if it didn't, you can make a new folder. M-O-D-S, no capitals, no spaces or anything, Mods. So that should just be in your Minecraft folder, not in any of these other folders. So now what you want to do is you want to make a new window, new find a window, command in or control in if you're on a PC, I think. Back in downloads, we want to go to the second link in the description. Second link. And I'll take you to the Lord of the Rings mod forum page. You want to scroll down and you want to find the download link. And so let's see if we can find the download link. And current download for that here. So if you're doing this for a later version, make sure that it is updated to your version because it will not work if it isn't. So then I'll take you to the Medify page, press download, or click download, whichever you prefer, and it will download. So you can minimize that, close out any ad windows that open up. So now it should be right here. It is download. It takes a little bit because this is a huge mod. Four megabytes. That's not that big, but still. So now you will get the um, zip folder. You want to unzip it, but not on a PC. I think it should. It should I don't think you're supposed to unzip it on a PC. So you have your folder. You press. You right click or control click on a Mac, and you want to copy it. And then in mods, you want to right click or control click and paste it. So make sure that this folder is in there, and make sure that inside this folder, if you're on a Mac, you can look inside. I think you can on a PC. Make sure it's assets and these things. And if it's not, then you did it wrong. And go back and look at the video again. So now we're done. We can close out all this. Launch Minecraft. And it should work. So before I say goodbye, let's make sure it works. I always like to make sure my installations work and not make a bad installation video and have it not even work. Because that wouldn't be very nice, would it? So it'll take a little bit longer to load up because it is trying to load the mod. Wait for it. Okay, full screen. And single player. Let's go on the world that we were just on. And boom, it looked like it worked. Yep, it worked. 
So, yeah, you should be seeing all your new stuff. If it didn't, please go back, watch the video again. And if you've done it, like, if you've made sure you've done everything, leave a comment, and I'll t try to help you the best way I can. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching my mod review and installation, my full review on the, um... Lord of the Rings mod. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it or if it helped you or if you enjoyed it a little bit. Please leave a like and subscribe if you if this is the first video you've seen from me. Please subscribe for Minecraft videos every single day. A mod review and installation or something like that on Tuesday and then my Tales of Kingdom is Dune story let's play series on Friday and then you know some other cool thing any other day. So yeah, please leave a like, please please leave a like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.